to pardon my friend here. He has a few errors that I have yet to squeeze out. You have to pardon my friend here. He has a few errors that I have yet to squeeze out. That accident proved to be more successful than my past efforts. That accident proved to be more successful than my past efforts. The poor fool doesn't even realize what he has been blessed with. And all he does is try and harm me. The poor fool doesn't even realize what he has been blessed with. And all he does is try and harm me. She can dance. She can sing. She's equipped with a built-in helium tank for inflating balloons right at her fingertips. She could take song requests. She could even dispense ice cream. I told you not to close your door. This is my house. He can't ignore me like that. Open the door! I'll find a way in from outside. Hmm. <laughs> Ran off to that place again, huh? <laughs> he will be sorry when he gets back. <laughs> you can't. He's not really dead. He's over here. Follow me. I helped him create. We both wanted to love. Your father loved Charlie. And now I have love. <laughs> oh no, silly. They are home with me. Their happiest day. <laughs> There's no way out anymore. All that is left is family. Oh, <laughs> I won't have to. When it gets dark, the spirits will awaken. They will kill you all. I'll just walk out in the morning, stepping all over your corpses. One by one. No, I'm quite confident I will survive. They don't remember. They've forgotten. The dead do forget, don't they? All they know is that you are here, trying to take away their happiest day. You are intruders. You are grown-ups. None of you will survive the night. <laughs> because I am one of them. Hey there, kids. My name is Spring Bonnie, left hand rabbit to the Mr. Fred Bear himself, and the life of the party. What would Fred Bear's diner be without little old me? Well, it'd be a lot quieter for one thing. But you have me and my good friend Fred Bear to thank for that. Also, any kids who like to sign up for the Fred Bear's Family Diner After Hours experience can simply find the application sheet in the back. Just sign a couple of waivers, give your signature, and poof! You can be a part of the family! <laughs> but I have rambled long enough. Right there, you bring the party, and I'll bring the rock. Hello! Where's everyone gone? You're no fun, you know that. I can hear him. He's in our heads. And he wants him dead. Hi, I want to be your friend. Freddy Fazbear's is the greatest place in the world. Want to play a game? This lucky one quick enough. Yeah! 
Sweet dreams. <laughs> I'm here. I'm there. I'm everywhere. <laughs> What did he do this time? He locked you in your room again. Don't be scared. I am here with you. Tomorrow is another day. You know he is hiding again. He won't stop until you find him. He left without you. He knows that you hate it here. You are right beside the exit. If you run, you can make it. Hurry, run toward the exit. No, don't you remember what you saw? The exit is the other way. Hurry and leave. It's too late. Hurry the other way and find someone who will help. You know what will happen if he catches you. I had a feeling you kids would come back here. <laughs> Just couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? I could have you all arrested for trespassing. What do you kids keep doing back here? Partying? Drugs? <laughs> sure. I'm no idiot. I know what's back there. Anyway, the name's Dave. Come on, this way. You don't know? Nobody wanted to lease Freddy's. Because of what happened, you know. Then they decided to build a mall to attract business. Someone had the bright idea to seal Freddy's up, built them all around it. But it wasn't enough. Something about this place, it spilled over the rest of the building. Barely anyone wanted to bring their business here. Those few franchise owners who were about to open their shops quitted their contracts and left. Said it just didn't feel right. I think it's got an aura. A kind of mystical energy. Well... If you believe in that sort of thing. Oh well, to each their own. All I know is they abandoned construction before it was even finished. Now no one comes here. Except kids wanted to screw around. And of course, me. I wouldn't do that. Don't speak. I told you not to speak. It's not an order, it's a friendly reminder. Do you know what I've put you inside? <laughs> you're amusing, but no, you're not wearing a costume. These suits were designed for two purposes. To be worn by men like me, and to be used as working animatronics, like the ones you see on stage. Understand? You see, all the animatronic parts in this suit are still in it. They are simply held back by the spring locks. Like this. These are spring locks. Watch. You can trip these spring locks very, very easily. It takes almost no movement at all. That's a very old costume. One of the first ones Henry made. Henry, your friend Charlie's father. Did you not know that he made this place? Well, that's one of his first suits. And if you trigger those spring locks, two things will happen. First, the locks themselves will snap right onto you. Making deep cuts all over your body. Then a split second later, all the animatronic parts, all the sharp steel and hard plastic will be instantly driven into your body. You will die, but it will be slow. 
You'll feel your organs punctured. The suits will grow wet with your blood. And you will know you are dying for a long, long time. You'll try to scream, but you'll be unable to. Your vocal cords will be severed, and your lungs will fill with your own blood until you drown in it. How do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Don't move. <laughs> Nothing is real. Nothing is real. This can't be real. I hear it repeating in your mind. This is a dark place. Nothing is illuminated. Even when the light is on, darkness prevails. You believe you are lost. And so you run. You run and run through the shadows. But there's nowhere to go. No matter how far you run, you will never reach an end. Because this realm is never ending. You are not lost. You are exactly where you belong. The children the ones who were sent here before their time. They are lost. They do not deserve the agony that exists in my world. So now I ask, do you? Do you deserve the agony? Do you deserve to be stranded in the eternal blackness? running away from the things that approach, the monsters that you forged in life. I believe that none are more deserving of this fate than you. So run, run and scream and pray that your past does not catch up to you. Suffer now, like all who have stood before me. Your time is up. I can taste the fear in your breath. It is time. Let's see how many times you can be pulled apart and put back together again. You will fear me. I will make you suffer. Suffer like so many of the others. Got you. <laughs> Your fear will consume you. You will not be spared. You will not be saved. Suffer now, like all who stood before my money. Your time is up.
They don't care about you. I'm the one who brought you here. You have something that belongs to me. <sighs> don't call me that. I haven't been Dave for a long time. <laughs> wrong again. I've accepted the new life you gave me. You made me one with my creation. My name is Springtrap. <laughs> I'm more than Afton never was, and far more than Henry ever could be. Ever since Charlie remade me, set me free to my destiny, I've been the master of these creatures. See, all the animatronics are linked together. It was a system designed to control the choreography of the shows. Now I control the system. I control the choreography. All of this belongs to me. <laughs> was that your plan? Did you think my robots would be as poorly designed as your father's? I didn't take him. <laughs> I took you. <laughs> oh, Jessica has been caught. Oh, Jessica, she fought. But now she's going to die. Oh, my. Oh, Jessica's been caught. Oh, Jessica, she fought. But now she's going to die. Oh, my. <laughs> Enough with the theatrics. Do you know who I am? I thought you'd like to see me as I was. A familiar face. But time changes all, as does pain. When I called myself Springtrap, I was ecstatic with power, delirious over my newfound strength. But pain changes all things. As does time. Uh, spare me. Dave the guard was a character. One concocted on a moment's notice to play you for a fool. You and your friends. It was insulting. It doesn't take a great thespian to pretend to be an idiot night guard. As long as you can get around inconspicuously. I have not been inconspicuous for some time now. It hardly matters anyways, as this is all that is left of me. Oh, believe me, I have. You have only seen one fraction of what was done to me. The shrapnel had even dozens of surgeries, and I have had dozens, could not remove. Parts of that costume have become part of me. <clears throat> I assure you, I didn't fake anything. If your police friend found a fake blood, it wasn't mine. I bleed just like everyone else. I gave you a monster, but I assure you, I'm very miserably human. My scalp was torn from my head when I escaped that costume. All oh, but this piece here. 
Scraps of metal are interwoven through every part of my body that has not been replaced with artificial tissue. Every movement causes me unimaginable pain. Not moving is even worse. Afraid of them now? Don't fear them. Fear me. I'm the only thing in this room that you should be afraid of. I'm just as dangerous as I've always been. What a deceptive calling. I knew it was a lie, the moment I heard it, obviously, but it is intriguing nonetheless. Fascinating, what they have become. You may not recognize me at first, but I assure you, it's still me. I always come back. Bittersweet, what fitting. How could I resist a promise such as this? That was easier than I thought it would be. What a deceptive calling. I knew it was a lie the moment I heard it, obviously. But it is intriguing nonetheless. Fascinating. What they have become. You may not recognize me at first, but I assure you, it's still me. I always come back. Bittersweet. What fitting. How could I resist a promise such as this? That was easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> Stay the course. Focus on my voice. Don't, don't let anyone lead you astray. Have you selected one? You've met with a terrible fate. Have it you? Your soul is mine. Your life is slipping. Yeah.